What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and this is Full Throttle Cars. Today I am heading up to the Glen Lake, Glen Arbor area and we're gonna be doing some car spotting around Glen Lake as well as up in Traverse City. We've got some pretty cool stuff coming along and hopefully we can spot some pretty cool cars. So be sure to stick around and with that, we'll jump right into the video. All right guys, we just finished up playing golf. We've got a really neat old Corvette right here. I wanna say the license plate says it's a 69. We'll take a quick walk around. Really neat looking side exhaust here coming out behind or right in front of the rear wheels. We'll just take a quick walk around to the back. It's got the chrome kind of split bumper look with this little rack on top. It also has the, uh, the black top there. I assume a convertible. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick walk around right here. We got an S63 AMG. These go for, I want to say, around 160000 This is the convertible. Take a quick look on the interior. All white. Twin turbo V8. Quad exhaust tips. Got the AMG badge right there. Pretty neat to see. Take a quick look. It's four seats. All right, guys, I originally said it was like 140000 or something, but based on this car, I believe this is like a 2016, 2017, was actually $175,000. To be more specific, I think it was like 176000 something. But again, this is a twin turbo V8 engine, just under 600 horsepower, 0 to 60 around the four second range. It, this is the convertible, which again, makes it a little bit more than the standard coupe but a very neat, very expensive and luxurious quick car. All right, guys, outside the same restaurant of that S63 AMG, we've got a Hellcat Durango right here. First one I have seen, one of only 3,300 that they're making. Check out how aggressive this thing is. 710 horsepower, zero to 60 in under, th or under four seconds, three and a half seconds, zero to 60, 645 pound feet of torque. Of course, this is the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi engine under the hood. Take a quick look at the tires, 295s, huge tires, big brakes. Really neat to see, very rare, and I have not seen one yet. So really cool to add this to the video. Just to take a quick look around back, we have the dual exhaust pipes. So what is really cool about this is it is a three row SUV, SUV capable of fitting seven people and towing up to 8,700 pounds. Really neat to see again. Got a nice Camaro SS right back there. All right, guys, we got a nice dual motor Tesla Model X right here with the Tesla Sport wheels. Looks pretty cool. I think the zero to 60 is right around the mid three second range on these. And the range for the battery is like three to 400 miles. So pretty cool. Pretty nice. These are probably around $100,000. All right, guys, we got another nice Tesla Model X right here with the sport wheels and the red brake calipers. This is, I don't know if this is another dual motor or not, but a pretty nice looking Tesla here in black. All right, guys, right here we have the all new BMW M4 Competition here in this like neon yellowish green color. Pretty cool wheels on this as well kind of like a bronzy type color go around to the back you got the quad exhaust it's pretty cool m4 competition taking a quick look up here at the front you've got the new grill that they did on the bmw m4 and the actually the four series all together not a huge fan of the way that grill looks with it being those two center areas there that go all the way from top to bottom however this is a really neat bmw m4 competition and in this color, this really stands out. Got the Veloster N with some crackles there. We got a Nissan GTR right here, guys. I believe a 50th anniversary edition. That is really cool. We got an Audi R8 V10 Spider right here, guys. That is really cool. Just after seeing the GTR. All right, guys, we got a nice Challenger SRT8 right here, I believe, about the year, like 2009-ish, one of the first higher-performance Challengers they made, the 6.1 Hemi V8. 
guys we got a nice jaguar f type s right here i believe this is the supercharged v6 variant we've got the quad exhaust on the back it also is a convertible interesting color on that jeep right there as well all right guys we're up here in traverse city we've got the ram trx right in front of us the 702 horsepower dodge ram 1500 actually from the columbus area it's got a buyer's uh license plate bracket all right guys so there is one car that i unfortunately did not get a video of that was spotted around the same time i was up in glen lake area and this is such an interesting thing because it was actually the former daily driven exotics lamborghini huracan up at the glen arbor gas station i got sent a picture of it unfortunately i was up in trevor city at the time so i could not go in and uh, take any videos of it at the time but i'll put up a picture on the screen right now it was re-wrapped and is now in kind of a red kind of almost like a rally-ish type of looking wrap it's really neat and i just saw the picture of it and i thought for a moment that is a really familiar looking car and i looked up on the instagram the new owner of it and it was actually the former daily driven exotics car if you have not been around our channel for a long time, why that is significant to our channel, our very first video on this channel was at the Ace Spade Rally, I believe in 2018, when both the Stradman and Daily Driven Exotics were on the rally. We went in and stopped when they came into the Columbus Cars and Coffee meet, and Damon was doing some donuts in the Huracan at that time. And at that time, it was wrapped in a gray wrap with some blue wheels on it. And of course, I had the rear bumper delete with the big wing out the back. The loudest car I had ever heard up to that point. But I'll put up a little image of that here on the screen. But just so neat that that was actually up there for me to see. Or for me to see a picture of that around the same area I was in. Out of a complete random coincidence. But that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to go down, drop a like, and subscribe. Share the channel and we will see you in the next video.